Okay, I am back. I am in beautiful birds and treetop treasures. Um, no, you did not miss anything. I did not post a video for Saturday. I will get into that in a minute. So, I'm not going to be on long. In fact, we'll just go ahead and get into that. Um, my back locked up, and I couldn't do anything for four or five days. So, I'm just now going to be bringing you the video, and it's because I'm wearing an ice pack on my back. So, anyway, um, I am back to coloring, but it's with an ice pack, and I've been going to the Cairo a lot, and we'll see. So, anyway, um, we did this the other day, and I wanted to come back in and go a step further. So, a lot of times, you know, we'll say, it's blended, it looks fine. Now, do you see a difference right through here? This side versus this side. Let me turn on additional light and see if that helps at all. I don't know if it does or not. There we go. We'll just put light right down there on it. So in here, I've gone in and really deepened these V's. All right. I've also deepened some up in here and around. All right. So earlier we used um, Putty Beige 1083. These are all Prismacolor. We used Light Umber, 941. Dark Umber, 947. And Noir, they're black, 935. I'm going to keep out just that darkest two colors. Okay, so Dark Umber and black. I'm going to come in, and I've already done some around here. And really, I'm going to come in with the black. Now, when you use black, you've got to be careful because it can go dark and wrong so fast. So, so fast. But I'm just getting in these bees. Remember we talked about lost edges and found edges? So, through here, it's not so much that they're lost. I'm just really pushing it way back in there. There are places where they are still lost, and we will touch on that in a minute. But see here, ever so lightly. And in some of these, I'm actually going to be outlining. And it's just enough that it makes what's in front pop. So... I'm just outlining these. Yes, I am standing up to color today. And I am not rounding my back bent over. I am being very careful. <laughs> I was painting my bedroom wall. And prior to that, I had gone out to my sister's. Yeah, I kind of messed up there. And um, I had gone out to my sister's grabbing the lightest shade. Just to kind of blend that out. I could erase it. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but just not in the mood. Um, and I did paint pours with her kids, and I think that's what started it. Because I was doing all the work with them. And, um, yeah, it got my back. I just can't. I can't do what I used to be able to. So, all right. So there's that. Um, let's look around this area because this could still go darker. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to really lay that black in. Really laying it in there. See how it looks like it's pushed so much further back in there? Then I'm in with that lighter brown. Well, the darker of the browns, but it's lighter than the black. Put it that way. But see, it just shoves it that much further. Okay, look at this, this, and here, where these dips are. I can come in just in these dips. And it's not like it's changing it that much, but it's 
just those little tweaks. It's just that last little bit of icing on the cake that makes it look less flat and more dimensional. Okay, so just use your black or if um, you've got a dark, dark, really dark brown, almost like a sepia or something. Let's see, this time I'm on this side. Then you could go that direction with it. And see, I'm, I'm getting very light as I come out. Very, very light. But anywhere that you want to push that back some, it's just getting really down to the nitty gritty. You know, I'm not going to come up in here because I like the way that looks. Now, if I wanted to push this back some more, I could do it with this brown. Okay, see, that works. But I wouldn't do that with the black. Just because it would be too harsh on this lighter colored area. But see, even with that, making your darks darker makes your lights appear lighter and just gives a different life, so to speak, to your picture. Now see, I've done all that, so now I can come in with the black because I'm going on the brown, not on that putty color. And it just shoves it back up in there. What else can we do? Okay, let's look. Because I did a lot of these, let's do some of these. Because this is really, if you squint your eyes and look at that, you can see different colors, but it starts to all blend together. Now I'm going to try to keep my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to come up in here, and I'm more or less outlining, and then I'm going to come down some. Okay, outline. Them down. Can you see a difference? Like I said, it's ever so subtle, but if you can do these little differences, make a big change in the long run. See how it just looks like it's up in there now. Look at that versus over here. Okay, so anywhere where you've got opportunity to do some outlining and filling in, then that's what I'm after. And you can always go back and um, look at the last video. I think it was the last one that we finished this bird up, this owl. And then um, look at it then versus now. You know, shoot a picture with your phone, do a print screen or whatever, capture it, and look and see where the differences are. And then from there, you can sit and work on yours. And I have to get that. Okay, so yeah, it was hubby, so I had to grab it because he went to his parents today without me. So, okay, so I was taking the black and coming in and doing some more. Um, yeah, no, I just, I felt like I couldn't be jostled in the car yet. That would just be a little bit too much. And anywhere where you think you've gotten a little too much black, come in with that next shade lighter and just blend it out. You'll be fine. You can do it. Don't build your black too fast. I think that is the um, the worst thing or the hardest part is we want to get it darker so that our lights look even lighter because let's face it, we did not use white in here, but some of this looks almost white because it's so lightly done and because our black makes the dark look even darker. But can you see a difference now coming in? You can do this in any picture 
where you feel like it's going one tone or one color. You feel like it's just so much brown. Have you got a picture that you're doing that's a landscape and you feel like that green is just taking over and there's no difference anymore. It's just everything is green. You can come in with a little bit of, and notice the word little bit, of some reds, some purples. Mix in with your trees and it will break some of that up. Well, that's right. Maybe I'll um, do a page soon that has some of those shades and I can I can actually add some purples and greens and show you purples and reds so see like down here we don't really have a lost edge but it's all looking so much the same so I've gone to the brown and I'm just gonna come in outline that leaf that leaf and get some of this just darkened up okay and a little sometimes will go a long way in what you're doing so don't feel like you have to do like every single leaf leaf they look like leaves don't they feather so you can tell I did a whole lot here and I've still got more that I can do over here I can come in here And notice the touch, you know, pay attention to how much pressure you're putting on there. You can also do this when you're doing skin tones. You can do it under the chin. You can do it under the bottom lip. You can do it around the nostrils. There's lots of places where you can make your darks just a little bit darker and it's really going to make what is in front of it pop up on the page just a little bit. So anyway, I'm not going to stand here much longer. Um, yeah, my rule of thumb is I can color if I'm wearing an ice pack, which I have an ice pack belted around me. It's actually got the Velcro so it stays pretty good but um and then when it's no longer frozen I have to stop so and it doesn't mean I can go get another frozen ice pack replace it and keep going just means it's time to stop so anyway um hopefully uh let's see I go back to the Cairo on Thursday this is Tuesday and um, hopefully it'll be my last Cairo visit for a while. And then I will be back to doing regular videos with you again. I have one lined out to go. I just haven't been able to do it. I've got all my colored pencils pulled and everything. Oh, the ladies on Coloring Books Keep It Clean can tell you I fretted about not having a video ready. And that's why I used to do videos up ahead of time, just in case. But there was no way <laughs> I could not even get up and down without help. So I spent the first day and a half in a straight back chair. And then hubby had an aching back from helping me up and down. Ugh, it was just not good. We've had lovely, two lovely couples from church get us meals. That was nice. One of them was able to stay and visit yesterday. I know I talked her ear off, but y'all, it was so good just to see people, especially them. They're just such sweet, sweet people. Um, but anyway, yeah, if I could pick, if I could pick someone besides my mother-in-law, to speak into my life, one of those people would be Dear Sweet Sue. So, just nice people. Okay, so again, that's all I need to do. 
I can do more. I just need to make myself stop. So I am sorry it's a short video, but there are times when you have self-care, and this is one of those times. Oh, I was going to tell y'all, um, Johanna, oh, I forget her last name now, ba Bassberg, the lady that does just a ton of books that are on Amazon, and um, gosh, I don't have any of her books, so I actually ordered her book that's not out yet, Something of the World. Is it Rooms of the World? Oh, I know, I know y'all are just sitting there telling me right now, because you're like, no, we know what it is, because you know better than I do. Um... So it is actually called Rooms of the World, no, Rooms of Wonder. So I have that on pre-order. So if you do a lot of coloring along with me, just a heads up, that's what I'm going to be going to soon. And I may or may not do the book, you know, all of it, because goodness knows I never do all of it. Bassford, that was her name, is her name. So anyway, I know I should look these things up before I start, but hey, I'm keeping it real. So anyway, I do have that book coming soon. Um, but just keep, keep working your owl until you feel like you can't add anything else to it. I still see that this has more contrast to it than this does. So I may actually bring my browns back in and add some more browns also. But for today, I'm going to take care of me and I'm going to stop. And I will see you all hopefully on Saturday. So we'll talk soon. Thanks for stopping by.